everybody, it's Chris from the Evermore podcast, Unicastle United podcast and the Evermore YouTube channel. We're back with another Room Hazard video where we're going to have a look at some players who've been linked to the club over the summer transfer window. We've got a really good player to get stuck into in a minute. Just before I do a little bit of housekeeping, if you haven't already, please consider clicking that like and subscribe button. We'd love it to get us over the 1,100 mark. We're currently on about 1,044, so not a million miles away. So if you're first time listening, please click that button and hit the bell as well and you'll be notified every time we've got another video coming out. Right, so let's get stuck into this player. This player we're going to talk about is none other than Fabian Ruiz from Napoli, the Spanish midfielder. He's 26 years old, left-footed, a very, very good player. As you can see from Mark's stats line there, all greens for this lad. Some of his key statistics there, passing he's very good at, long shots, concentration. He's a very good midfielder, likes to think you know, before he plays the ball, he's always looking to make space. He hits some killer passes. He loves a Hollywood ball, you know, and uh, unlike John Joe Shelby, a lot of the times he kind of gets them off as well. So you can see from the heat map as well there, he's, he's very, very busy. He's all over the place in terms of his play. You know, look at some of the statistics there, you know, across the top five leagues in Europe. Passes and pass completions, he's right up there. 97 percentile, 89 percentile. For his pass completions, touches he loves he loves a bit of the ball. You can see there he's uh, you know over ninety one touches a game in the ninety seven percentile, so he's really, really high up that list. Assists as well, he's uh, in the eighty five percentile. Goals he got seven goals in thirty two games last season as well, so that's pretty good. That I mean, like Bruno got about five in seventeen. So uh, if you put him in our midfield with Joe Linton and Bruno, the goals that those guys can bring. I think he would slip in really, really well. Probably one of his, his weakest stats really is, is Ariel's one, so he's not very good in the air. But, you know, that's not really the end of the world, really, to be fair. We've got a lot of big lads at the back, you know, who can win headers, and Joe Litton's very good in the air as well. So I wouldn't be overly fussed about that particular statistic there. But you can see from this guy, I mean, he's a 15-time he's a capped Spanish international. It takes somewhat to get into to those sides. He's a very, very good footballer. You know, he's, he's kind of Napoli's heartbeat, of their side one of the interesting things with him is is that he, he's coming i think to the last 12 months of his contract so napoli are looking to get a fee for him before they lose him for free next summer it's apparently us and arsenal that are leading the chase and i believe the fee they're looking for for this player is, is something very small like 26 million quid now that's unbelievable for a player of that quality at 26 years old you know are Newcastle really that interested in them, or is it just another way for the agent to get more money out of Arsenal? We don't know. We're going to have a lot of these players doing that over, over the summer transfer window. But one thing's for sure, you know, this kid's a quality player. He would add to the squad, no doubt. He'd walk into that midfield in place of John Joe Shelby, in my opinion, you know, and get a three-man midfield going of him, Joe Litton and Bruno, which would be unbelievable to watch. It really, really would. Um, there has been some links tonight as well about Christian Eriksen. That, that he seems to have dropped from 25 to 1 to 3 to 1 to sign for Newcastle. There's talk about Manchester United pulling away from the deal. So, you know, there could be some some real movement with the Eriksen deal. If Christian Eriksen does arrive on Tyneside, obviously we'll be absolutely buzzing with that. We did a, one of our very early rumour has videos on Eriksen. He's a top, top player. Premier League experience. You know, we would love him at Newcastle United and he would walk into that midfield again. You know, in my opinion, ahead of John Joe Shelby. So we'll be keeping our eyes on that. If Ericsson comes off, I don't think Ruiz will come off. I can't see us dropping 26 million quid on a player where we've just signed Ericsson to kind of do a very similar job, getting the ball and, and make things happen. You know, Ericsson won't play every game. You know, obviously, you'd be conscious of his condition. I know he's played very well for Brentford last season, but you wouldn't want to put him through too much game time, you know, with, with worries about that in the back of your mind, potentially. So it could be a bit of a... A bit of a kind of rolling system between him, John Joe Shelby, and maybe Sean Longstaff as well for certain games. But you know, if Ericsson does sign, we'll be coming back out with another deal done video. You know, we're hoping that the Nick Pope deal will get done in the next couple of days. We'll be back out with one of those as well for, for Nick Pope. Great bit of business again. You know, eight million quid we're talking about to sign that lad, England goalkeeper, Premier League proven, you know, great competition for Dubravka, pushing for the number one spot. You know, and if Ericsson can come in, wow, you know, that's that's a hell of a two signings. Bottom and Nekatiki are still rumbling along in the background. So there's a, there's a lot of business on the table for Newcastle at the moment. And we're just waiting for a couple of those deals to drop. And, and if they do, this transfer window really kicks into life. But going back to Fabian Ruiz before we sign off, let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Top player, you know, no doubt about that. Obviously very young in, com in comparison to Ericsson. He's got about four or five years in Ericsson. You know, so he would be a very, very good player for 26 million quid as well. It's a bit of a snip in, in this current climate. But, you know, if the Ericsson deal is, is ready to go there, I can see 
Newcastle pushing the button on that and they wouldn't really need to go after Ruiz, potentially go for him for free in the summer if he stays at Napoli, which would be incredible business yet again. But let us know what you guys think in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you think about the proposed deals that are, you know, we're looking at and players that we're looking at as well. And um, we always try our best to come back to you. And as I mentioned at the start, if you haven't already, please remember to click that subscribe button, drop us a like as well if you can, and hit the notification bell so you, you're made aware of the next time one of these videos is out. We are going to be back um, not Thursday night with a, a new show, which is a debate show. We've got a great topic there about whether Newcastle should increase the salary cap to get the best players. Um, if this transfer window kicks into life, potentially, you know, that might not be the case at all, you know, because Newcastle are doing business the right way. But make sure you tune in for that, guys. That'll be live at 7 o'clock. And again, Jump in the comments. We'll love, love to hear from you and we'll try and engage as much as we can for you. So this is Chris signing off with another Room has a video. We'll be back soon with some more transfer banter. And until then, keep supporting that team with Call United and we'll catch you later. Cheers. Bye.